Hello, I'm Nick Baines, Engineering Manager for Standard Products here at Carbolite Gyro. And today I'd like to introduce you to the Laboratory Gas Safety System, which is designed to enable the safe use of hydrogen within our laboratory furnaces. Here we have the safety system connected to a TS split tube furnace. The system comprises two modules, the main control box which deals with the inlet gases piped into the furnace here, and on the other side the burner box which deals with the exhaust gases coming out of the furnace here. The system which was developed in consultation with independent safety experts operates on the principle of avoiding a build-up of significant volume of combustible gases in the furnace. It achieves this with four main process points. Firstly, there's a purge of nitrogen through the equipment which displaces the oxygen uh, and avoids any unintended reactions before the hydrogen is introduced. Secondly, hydrogen will not be allowed to flow into the furnace until the temperature in there is above 750 degrees. This ensures that uh, as the hydrogen enters the furnace, it will spontaneously react with oxygen in a controlled way, any residual oxygen that is still in the furnace, uh, and again, avoid a buildup of a flammable mixture. This is achieved by the control system of the furnace having a connection to the gas safety system so that it will tell the system when the furnace is at the suitable temperature and when it's ready. Thirdly, the burner box is connected to the outlet of the furnace. This has inside it a ceramic igniter which is maintained at about 800 degrees C and this ensures that any hydrogen coming out of the furnace will be safely burnt within the box. There's also an infrared monitor of the temperature of that igniter so that if for some reason the temperature there should drop, the hydrogen flow will be shut off. Fourthly, the system features a nitrogen safety purge. This is an independent supply of nitrogen controlled by this box, which if it detects that either the furnace temperature has dropped or the burner box temperature has dropped, the hydrogen will be shut off and the nitrogen will be purged through from the safety system. The control box has three gas inputs, one for hydrogen and two for nitrogen. It's important that the two nitrogen inputs are connected to independent supplies so that uh, if one runs out, the other is still available. Each of the gas inputs is monitored by a pressure switch. This will ensure that the gas is present and if uh, it's detected that the pressure has dropped below the threshold, then the system will shut down and purge with nitrogen again. Two flow meters with manual needle valves allow the setup of a mixed gas of hydrogen and nitrogen if required. If only hydrogen is required, the manual valve here can shut off the process flow of nitrogen. The safety nitrogen doesn't have a manual valve uh, so that it can't be accidentally shut off. The control box has a braided hose connection for the gas input to the furnace and it has an electrical connection to the burner box. This provides the electrical supply to the igniter and also the return signal for the infrared detector to check that the burner box is operating correctly. The burner box is connected to the outlet of the furnace by this braided hose. This directs the exhaust gases into the burner box uh, in close proximity to the ceramic igniter. And this has a small electrical heating element which raises the temperature to at least 800 degrees C and ensures a safe reaction of the hydrogen uh, and the oxygen from the air uh, in a small flame inside the box. The temperature of the ceramic igniter is monitored by an infrared sensor. If the temperature should fall, this sends a message to the control box which would initiate the safety nitrogen purge. The main benefit of this design is that there's no need for a separate natural gas supply, which in other systems is used to provide a permanent flame to consume the exhaust hydrogen and any other gases coming out of the furnace.